Hi, my name is Reggie Brooks. I'm a real estate investor and I've been investing for a little over 30 years. And I've, I've decided to focus on a very little known niche, vacant, distressed, abandoned properties. And because of that decision, I've been able to very quietly make a fortune. So I'm coming to your RIA, Tampa RIA, May 11th, and I'm going to expose uh, my secrets and the way that I've uh, use this strategy to make millions of dollars. And you see, I've researched your marketplace. And in your market there in Tampa, your market's heating up. I'm sure you're feeling it. Your residential prices are rising. But even though your mortgage rates are still low, the competition is making things awfully tough. I do understand. And I also understand that in the past, finding the money has always been a problem. But it's no longer going to be a problem. You see, along with me teaching you how I have made and how you can make a fortune with vacant, distressed, abandoned properties, I'm also going to share with you the fact that money is no longer a problem. We now have access to hundreds of millions of dollars, not my money, but other people's money, over 300 different lenders of this money. And so if you're tired of the challenge of uh, finding the financing, fighting for the uh, the financing. If you're tired of the competition and investing in real estate, you need to come to the next Tampa Real meeting. It's going to be May 11th at 6 o'clock uh, p.m. You come early for the registration and networking at 6 o'clock. I want to share with you how I've made this fortune with vacant distressed properties and how you're going to be able to do it too very easily. We're making profits we're making these profits with absolutely no bank financing. You see, the banks won't lend on these properties anyway. And so the financing becomes critical. And I will share with you how we easily use creative financing to do these deals all the time. You see, we're dealing with distressed properties owned by motivated owners. And when a motivated owner is highly motivated to move his distressed property, he will become part of the financial picture. And so people talk about the number of upside down properties. Now think about this. Upside down properties is a property whose value is less than the liens that are owed against the property. In other words, the property has loans against it. Those loans are higher than the value of the property upside down. I want you to come to the next meeting. I'm going to share three very simple ways to profit from upside down properties. I'll tell you about one of our students who had a property that was upside down by $2,000. It was worth it was two, it was worth $2,000 less than what was owed on the property, yet using just one of these three strategies that I'll share with you made over $45,000. So I want you to think about this. Good deals do not chase money. Money chases good deals. So when you're armed with the knowledge and you use the tools that I'll provide for you, May 11th, you're going to be able to do deals where other people who don't have the tools that you have, they can't do those deals. You'll be able to make money that they can't make. And you see, that's what it's all about. Get the money chasing you instead of you chasing the money. One little clause, a simple little clause, clause in a contract made a student over $40,000 in cash. I want to share those with you as well because, you see, investors leave an awful lot of money on the table because they don't know how to properly use contracts. And so we'll talk about that as well. One little clause over $40,000. So I want you to bring paper and pen. I'm going to make a couple guarantees to you. I'm going to guarantee you that you're going to hear a few things that you've never heard before. And I'm also going to guarantee you that you'll be able to use these things immediately, right away in your real estate business. So come and let me show you how we've been doing it for over 30 years, making a fortune, and how you can too. Uh, Thursday, May 11th. Where? Well, I'm glad you asked. In Tampa, Florida. 6, uh, 6 o'clock p.m., come for the registration and the networking. You're going to be uh, bringing your business cards with you because you'll exchange those with other people that are of like minds headed in the, right, in the same direction as you. And then you stay for the education, and that's where I come in. All right, I'll see you there.